really good idea. And people say, well, I do it. My kids really love to have thousands and thousands of mums and some dads saying, yes, fine. Uh, but nobody's focusing on what children um, learn from it. So there's, but actually, when you look at that research, you have to acknowledge there's very, very few studies of children under three. Very few at all. As I said, I think there are Stefan Alfamengo, I, I know is doing some, um, and I have maybe some other German ac academics as well, who I hope to meet one day. Um, there are much fewer, of course, longitudinal <coughs> studies of children in their own homes, which if you want to look at children's cultural lives, that's where you have to do it. You don't take them into laboratories and do experiments on them. You need to watch them in their own homes. But obviously that's much harder to fund, that kind of research, because it doesn't produce what's sort of a kind of scientific proof. And it's obviously very hard to gather any kind of evidence about um, children's uh, media use before they can talk, as I have found. Um, you might like a picture here. Do you see this little girl? She's just two. And she's watching... Um, she is not actually allowed to watch television. She, her parents think television is bad. But they do let her from time to time watch um, Czech um, animations on the laptop because her, her mother is Czech. And she has this favourite animation. She's older now, but when she had this, she had this favourite animation she liked to watch because it made her cry. Okay. Well, I bet some of you do that too. Mm -hmm. Things you don't want to watch because they make you cry. You know, it starts early. <laughs> so this is my research, um, and um, this research question will probably change, but th that's that's what it is um, at the moment, and it comes out of um, 